Hey, what's good YouTube? So I thought I'd show you what my uh, gear is looking like today, do a quick update. Um, I'm super excited about one thing I just got today, which is this Yeti cooler. I actually didn't buy it today, but I'm using it as a seat now because one thing I found is that I've been playing on this bench over here, but it's it's really wobbly and it's, um, it's too wide. It, it's hard to play guitar on this bench. It's hard to get comfortable. So I was looking around and you know, I tried this chair, but it's, it's too tall and it's just, it's not right. And I was even looking online at what other people use. Some people use like a stool. Some people use a, um, a drum throne, which is the seat that drummers use to play drums. I looked at that and they're like, you know, $200 for a, a drum throne. But then I thought, what about this cooler? Cause I, I've sat on this thing before, you know, it's outside. What if I use it here? And guys, it's perfect. This Yeti cooler is the perfect height. It's super short, which I like, and it fits nice with my um, my setup here. So now I can sit closer to my setup instead of across the room where I was. I can sit right here next to my setup, uh, right in front of my amp, right in front of my pedals and my laptop. And now everything's closer and this cooler is more stable, it's lower to the ground, it's more comfortable. So I'm super excited about being able to sit on this cooler now. Uh, I think it's really gonna help my playing and I uh, can get the camera closer to me and everything. So I also got this new pedal here, Old School Reverb. I got this on Amazon and I think it was like $40. Dude, Amazon has the best deals on pedals I mean, you can't find anything like this in a guitar store. You can only find stuff like this on Amazon. Look how cool that looks, old school reverb. This is, um, it sounds great, by the way. I don't I don't think I'm gonna play it on this video. I'll, I'll show it to you guys uh, tomorrow. But I also got the Univibe, the Fuzz Face. This is my current setup right now. So this is my input. I'm going to a tuner from the tuner to a compressor. I got this Donner compressor. This is another Amazon find. These these pedals on Amazon are super cheap. They're like 40 bucks a piece, which compared to like a Fuzz Face, a Univibe, anything else you're gonna find like in a guitar store, which can be upwards of $100, sometimes close to $200 for a pedal. So to be able to find stuff like this, uh, this is another one I got, this Donner Yellow Fall Delay. These are like 40 bucks a piece. They don't, they don't take batteries. They only, um, they take AC adapter, which is fine because I don't, who wants to mess with batteries anyway? I mean, what's the point of that? So none of these pedals take batteries. They're, they're um, nine volt only, but they all, I got this adapter again on Amazon. It's the best place to buy stuff. Uh, you can plug five pedals into one adapter with this thing. It's a Donner, which is the same same brand as this Donner. Look them up. Uh, these pedals are awesome. They work great. They sound great. They're very affordable. Uh, I'll do a I'll do a demo, a pedal demo, like tomorrow. I've actually got one more coming in tomorrow. I'm getting a chorus. This this company is called. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. If it's like Celine or, so I'm just gonna say Celine. I guess that's how you say it. C-A-L-I-N-E. And the pedals are really cool. They have this retro look to them and they sound great, by the way. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a quick demo here in a minute, depending on what I wanna do here. It's kinda late. Um, it's like past 11 o'clock, It's uh, but whatever. Um, this is my new amp setup. If you guys have seen this, super cool. Electrum Harmonics, five, five millimeter. It's a two watt power amp. Very simple, just input, output. And that uh, plugs in here. That's what this adapter is. And there's no power switch on there. So I'm just using this power strip as the on off. I just hit this button, cuts power, super easy. But, oh yeah, my, this is my chain. So I'm going from tuner to compressor, fuzz, univibe, and reverb, and I'm getting a chorus tomorrow. I'm not sure where that's gonna fit in because 
Um, I really like this this setup, so I don't I don't know where that's gonna fit because uh, one thing I've been playing with today is getting a real clean guitar sound, which I'm finding is a lot more difficult than the typical you know grunge fuzz distortion sound where you can get that with just one pedal. I mean, a fuzz face by itself is gonna give you that. Uh, fuzz sound or if you want to use distortion or big muff these pedals just stand on their own they don't need a lot but if you want to get a good clean sound i'm finding you need more effects actually for the clean sound which is you know kind of kind of ironic or strange i never thought about it i thought i figured clean was just you're just playing your guitar straight through your amp and and you can do that and it, it sounds okay but i'm finding it sounds a lot it sounds a lot better when you're using a compressor, for instance, which will even out your tone, a univibe, just real subtle. I have it, you know, like a quarter, nine o'clock. It just gives it a little sparkle, a little, it kind of rotates the sound a little bit, like a, like a very mild phase shift. And it actually has a little bit of chorus in there as well. Univibe is a very interesting effect. It's, it's like four effects all in one. It's it's chorus, it's uh, vibrato, it's um, a phase shifter, all in one. And then I'm running from that into this reverb, which just sounds awesome. I might as well play it here. So give me a second. I'm just filming on my iPhone. That's the other thing I'm finding is I'm, I'm getting tired of this whole complicated setup and I'm finding that the videos on iPhone actually sound pretty good so I don't know I might I might just switch to using the iPhone instead of trying to do like the the webcam and the the microphone and the laptop and everything it just takes so much setup and, and work to get everything all set up um, but I don't know I'll try different things I'm always trying new stuff um, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and, and do a quick demo. Let's see how I can do this. See, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta like set up the camera. And, uh, I guess that'll work. Does that work? Alright. We'll try that, as long as it doesn't fall over. Alright, let me get my guitar. So this is how I have it now, I have compressor, univibe, and this reverb. Doesn't it sound good? I mean, it has sparkle, it has reverb. Um, I can show you like what this, this reverb, so like without it, Oh, by the way, the switch on here is super, super soft, which I really like. So you hear without it, that's what it sounds like. And then with it, see how it has that, like, that's the reverb effect. Carries it out, makes it sound a lot bigger. So that's in the room setting, which I like the best. Uh, then it has a hallway. Just makes it just makes it more. And then they have what's called church. I don't know if you can hear that real good on the on the phone, but. Um, that sounds really good in person. That's, that's such a great effect for like 40 bucks. It's crazy, because um, I looked at other reverb pedals, like uh, Holy Grail is, uh, is a big one. And I mean, that's like a $200 pedal. And I just, from the demos I heard online, it doesn't sound like it'd be dramatically better than this, the old school reverb. So this sounds great, in my opinion. Uh, the Univibe. Let me show you what it sounds like with nothing. So, see how boring that sounds? I mean, it's not 
it's a good foundation. It's not bad. I still have the compressor on. I can. The compressor is very subtle. You're probably not going to notice that as much. So that's with nothing on. You know. Now I put the compressor on. It just evens out the, the tone. Then if I put the Univibe on. I can even put it on the vibrato setting. Just adds a little, I, I call it sparkle. It's like what it sounds like to me. And then reverb. See how much better that sounds? And it, it's still a clean sound, but it's just much more interesting sounding. update on what I'm working on so uh, tomorrow I'll show you that chorus pedal and uh, go a little more in depth into uh, what I'm working on I have a new song for you guys so thanks for tuning in uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time take care <laughs>